So everybody knows already that I have lost two out of three of my brothers and my grandfather in under two years. You also know that uh, the goal is to start talking about it with people and confronting my issue instead of hiding. And it's actually been very helpful. I have such a tight-knit group of friends that I've had from like 13 to 23 years and we are like family. And every single time that I've been through heck, they have been the ones to remind me that they love me, remind me that everything will be okay. I'm not alone and I love them so much and they all know who they are. I even have newer friends uh, that I've known for, I lose count, I don't know how long I've known my little sister. <laughs> but everybody will know who my little sister is because we look so much alike. She has been a serious rock for me also. Last night though, I got to go see Five Finger Death Punch and Breaking Benjamin. I went with these friends that I've had from 13 to 23 years and it was a really good experience. At first it was very difficult because uh, someone that I find extremely special is supposed to be there with me, but they're not a part of my life anymore. So, I mean, they could be if they choose to be. I'm not going to force that on anybody anymore. So if anybody wants to be in my life, they'll make an effort and that's up to them. At first it was very difficult. My stomach was really upset and that's like the first thing that gets affected by my stress. <laughs> as soon as I heard Breaking Benjamin like turn on, I took off because that's, that's the band I'm there to see, that's who I want to see, and we're just rocking out and having a good time, and of course there's always moments where the singers talk about, you know, thanks for coming and whatever, and I always feel like Ben from Breaking Benjamin has really nice, good things to say to encourage other people. He's been through a lot of stuff in his life. He had said something about no matter how many times we are put through terrible things in our life, we can't give up and we have to keep moving forward and really focus on the now no matter how hard that is because we it's so easy to get caught in these terrible moments but as he's talking about being proud of the people who are capable of overcoming their issues and capable of really getting out and experiencing life after trauma and things that could possibly really hurt them I felt arms just like reach around me from all of my friends. It was more motivation to just keep going and keep doing what I need to do to be my best self and not live in this depression that has been caused by the loss of my family. Even though it's really easy to get lost in it, it really, really is. Because uh, you do feel alone and you do feel like pieces of you are gone forever. It's not gone, it's just injured. It's a little hurt. It's sad because I don't get to see them every day. It's sad because I don't get to hear their voice. It's sad because I can't just text them and see how they're doing. And I've realized that even if I can't text them and even if I can't hear their voice every day, they are a part of me. They are a huge reason as to why I am the tomboy girl that I am and they are just a big part of me and they are a big part of my little brother and my parents are them. So. I can't constantly focus on all the negatives and the feeling alone. I feel like eventually that will go away. There are going to be days that are easier than others and there are going to be days that I just don't want to get out of bed 
and on those days that's the days that I need to get out of bed those are the days that I have to get myself up to go to the gym and I have to push through it and I have to um, really force myself to live my best life because my family wouldn't want me to sit here and just cry and be angry and upset and none of us want that I'm sure there's people in your life, there's friends in your life, there's family in your life, there's someone you love that you want to be happy all the time and you know that you cannot control their happiness, but you know that there are things that you can do to make them smile. I think it's great when you wake up to a good morning text or an I miss you text or just a hey, how are you feeling? and thinking about you or have a great day, a simple wave, a smile at somebody you don't even know. There's little things you can always do that make somebody in your life feel a little special. And I really hope that this is a new message that I can give you guys, a new simple motivation to give people in your life that might be feeling a little down you don't even have to do it for that. Just do it to show people you care. Like, they don't have to be down for you to pay attention to them. Just pay attention. The people in your life need you to be your best you. And your best you starts with loving yourself. And selfless love starts with selfish love. So love yourself before you try to give your love to others and know what makes you happy and just share your happiness with the world, okay? I hope you all have a great weekend, a great week, a great month, whatever. If you need to talk, you can hit me up on my Instagram handle and that is at model underscore Lisa Michelle Dixon. And I freaking adore you guys for listening to me and putting up with my shit. <laughs>